Is that what they call it? Okay. Of course, the uh, call out there, Minutemen, the battle to secure the borders. And we're right down here on the border. And take a look. You can see again the fence ends. You've got piping. You can crawl right under it. Barbed wire. That's a complete joke. You can crawl above it or below it or between it. It's completely insecure. Anybody can come across in this valley. Uh, criminals, drug dealers, you name it. Uh, and the people who are coming across here to work are going to have to pay the coyotes. The drug haciendas are lining this whole valley. You won't get across here unless you carry drugs or pay thousands of dollars. Because every square inch of Mexico across here is watched and you're going to pay to come across. It's not a free valley. The thing you realize coming to the border is that there's economic value here to Mexico. First of all, I got the drug haciendas. We'll see some of those that are quite lavish. There's money being spent with the drugs to come across here. Billions of dollars in revenue back to the drug cartels. Everybody who does get across here who manages to work, $30 billion in remittances back to Mexico. These are Mexico's one or two biggest sources of revenue. What economic incentive does Vincente Fox have to stop this? He wants his impoverished millions to be in the United States. But he wants American middle class to pay for them on our social benefits. He's not going to pay for them on Mexican social benefits. The economic value here is one way. It's all to Vincente Fox. And this is the price we're going to pay for cheap labor. We want cheap labor. We're going to pay the price of an open border, open to drugs, open to terrorists. We're going to pay the price of the middle class with higher social services, crowded ER rooms, hospitals closing, crowded schools burdened middle class paying for social benefits, including welfare and food stamps. Vincente Fox has got a good deal here. Why would he ever want to change it? 